Take exit 2A, then turn right onto Ohio 14 East. Back to this block. So check it out. Here we are at the track, and it's raining. New track, Lake Erie. There's Mike. What up? Wait up, wait up. Park in the mud. Fun times. So right next to the track, though, it'll be cool and loud. Interesting pavement. So we're gonna let Mike, uh, GT dude, set up all their stuff. Get that going. Pretty sure that's stuck in the mud, so we're not moving that at all. That was a one shot, one kill just to get that in there. We'll worry about that. Hopefully it's not rainy by the time we leave. All right, Erecto Mungus. That sucker set up. Time to let out the whip. We're actually probably gonna change our rear main seal inside the trailer. That or we do it on this. I haven't decided. Alpha, how do you feel about it? Uh, about what? All of it. Uh, I don't like rain. You don't like rain? I hate rain. Yeah, you're, you're not down with the mud? Yeah. That's, he's got his track shoes right there. <laughs> I don't do drift events in the rain. He's a, uh, he's a Mexico boy, so... Does it not rain down there? Uh, Worse than Cali? No, it's the same as Cali. Yeah, uh, so uh, yeah, we don't, we don't drift in the rain. We get like maybe two days a year. Yeah. Alright, let's see it. Let's make sure it's all still there. We had everything at a storage yard. We don't know what's going on in here. Okay, my battery's dead. You'll see this in the video if the jump start works. You will not see this in the video if the jump start does not work. <laughs> so, this little key fob right here makes the battery work. So let's see. If this comes on, this worked. That's my jump start. Oh, it's working, hold on. down now we need to change the rear main seal on the motor so it's raining and terrible outside so why not just do it inside the trailer so that's Jackson down there getting wild all right back at it transmissions out uh, got all the stuff out Jackson's cleaning things and new rear main seal going in. Got an oil change to do, rear gear to do, and rain has been on and off. There's Christina, say hey. Hello. A lot of wheels, tire stacks, so that makes that easy. They're the guys that change all of our wheels, so when they're dead, they go there, then they come back new. So, easy peasy. Race track. There we go. I'm up in here. Alright, so you guys will have it at 7.30, after 7.30 in the morning. No, it doesn't look good. Oh. Alright, almost done here. Train is in. 
So we'll lower this sucker now. A couple extra bolts. Who needs? All the bolts in there. Quick change, right? Put some stuff away. We'll get out of here. What's up, Alvin? What's up? You're looking good, bro. All right, it is Friday. We got the car out of the trailer finally. I was uh, in a sneaky driver's meeting, uh, FD teams only meeting. And uh, we're kind of just working on doing cool things together. But the guys, while I was out, got the car out of the trailer. They're working on some funny plans. Let's see, let's swoop under. We want to do some more venting off the valve covers and some funny stuff. So I think we're going to add something there and do something rad. I don't know. Let's see what Jeff's up to. What's up, you, bro? Oh, hi. Oh, just, hi. You know, putting the front bumper back on, making it look good. Yeah, it's a headlight issue there. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Sip, sip. Takes a little bit of punching and kicking. Uh, all right, pit's looking like a pit again. We got our food in here. I love broccoli. That's delicious. Those are great. Let's see if they're back there doing something. Hi everybody, welcome to FD Erie. Um, up said they should do they like moved the outer zone like way back okay and then like outer zone two they so moved it like way later because yeah, okay. we were showing them in the game because it's me and rome like a other fd yeah, driver yeah, yeah, yeah. we're like dude you get so choked up going this oh, yeah, way and, and then you choke rotate, back like, mad choke. Yeah, yeah yeah and we're like i know this is a video game like as drivers we all could just see it well yeah, yeah you could we just drove it earlier and you yeah. could see like outer and then choke on under yeah yeah back. and so i don't know why they didn't want to listen to it. So now it's changed. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So now instead of riding that whole outside line, yeah, you're so basically you out down. and then you come nose in on the white line okay. and then riding that. Okay. We'd actually showed them a version where you'd come in and you were actually 10 feet this way. You were actually almost on the inside. Yeah. Your back bumper would have been on the, on the inside on, on this line. white line, yeah. but it would have yeah. been on the back of it. Yeah. And that was like the smoothest, fastest, coolest way through there that would have made everything really good. Yep. Did you stop this one? No. Mm -hmm. I don't even know, oh yeah, I need to, it really hurts my arm when I try to get that. I can get it, but it's at the cost of my shoulder every time. Yeah.
here's the deal. Where are we at? Friday? Yeah, yeah, Friday. Uh, autograph session, about to go down. So, gotta get ready for that. Those guys are super punctual. I'm gonna go hit the head, sky out of the car. Been in there for a while. Cars run pretty good, everything's feeling good. Changing gears, I think we went from like a 4.6 to a 4.7. Kind of need like a 4.65. Quick change, man, you can get like addicted to getting that gear just perfect. Um, so I'm like just on red line. And uh, it's kind of where you want to be, you know, you're right at your power spot, uh, but you don't want to be on red line. So I need to swap that out. And then we're working on air intake temps. So simple things, fun stuff. Okay, here's the situation. It's raining. Jeff, how do you feel about it? I don't like it. I don't you don't like, like it? it? You're from Wisconsin, bro. Doesn't it rain all the time? Yeah, but that doesn't make the drifting any better. Yeah, it's terrible. It's terrible. Yep. It's horrible. It's rained more at FD events than it has in Los Angeles all year. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. But on a positive note, check out this cool hook I got right here. NRG, it just Velcros on there so it fits any kind of pipe, goes anywhere you want. Pretty sturdy too. So good for the steering wheel, right? Put that on there, boom. That's red. Cool beans. second outside zone. You can really hear him lifting there, get himself set up. Just flirts with the edge of that course, keeps it on, on line, tracking there. Again, dips, dips a little deeper than he did in that second outside zone, but keeps it consistent. Hammering down. Here's a shovel. Can you dig it? Nice job there by Jeff Jones. Powered by the Edelbrock Supercharger on the V8 and under the hood of his Nissan 370Z. I think Jeff Jones' run here is a pretty good contrast, especially in outside zone number two, uh, on what the judges are more or less looking for in that area. They want you to be on throttle, pushing through that outside zone two. But let's take a look uh, leading up to that run. Comes through chicane. Nice positioning here. Pretty nice aggressive flick to get into that outside zone. You can tell we're starting to see a little bit of uh, mist coming up there, a little bit of tire smoke potentially. Uh, and as he comes into outside zone two, watch the rear wheels here. He's gonna kind of stay on throttle, pushing through there. And we saw Travis Reader really check up and one of the reasons they gave the incomplete. Now in outside zone three, you can see he does drop that tire. Let's see if he makes a correction to get back down. He's not super far off. You can see the left rear is inside the line. So maybe a deduction or two there, a point or two there for the line in that area. But overall, a pretty solid run there for the 818 car. 
That's general knockout qualifying at 89 and 80. Yeah, yeah. All right. Jackson probably can't hear me. Qualified at 89. I think we're in eighth at the moment. I uh, don't know who we're going up against yet, but we're leaving. We're going to go to steak dinner. Wow. First time this year. Yeah. We're all paying for themselves. I don't know if they're so happy about it. Maybe I'll pay for it. But anyways, yeah, so that's our Friday. We did good, did any walls, changed gears like three times, and uh, did it pretty good. We're proud of you, Jeff. Thanks, guys. Good job. Thank you. Nerds. How did I know you Bye. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, so there's all our crap. Oh, we're doing this one. Load it. Load it up full of stuff. Seems legit. It's pretty good. All us have crap in our laps. And we are cruising to the track. It's like 10.30. We had that delicious steak dinner last night. I'm still stuffed. Okay. We've got Duncan. We've got Duncan. This guy's fun. Yep. Flicker. Somehow, these spots are all dry. That spot's dry. Our spot, not so dry. We got this cool little Harbor Freight Chingadera. We're just gonna push some water around. You're doing good, Jackson. You're doing good. Damn it. All right, as in the uh, last adventure, we moved pits. So right there, this little water area, we tried to let the sun clean it and then we swept it and then we blew it, but it's got a stupid natural water something happening. I think they like, just absorbed the water and it's just, Continuing to go. He's got a dry area. I got a wet area. They got a dry area. So move tents. Non important dumb things that happen at the track. So now we're over here. Let's check out the car. Oh, it's Saturday, by the way. See how nice and dirty this thing is. A little bit of mud. Oh, and by the way, that mirror over there went down. Let's go check it out. I think uh, one of the rain laps yesterday didn't make it through so well. So finally, got to buy some new mirrors. And I just got these things to stop being stupid. But yeah, we're a bit dirty. I think the tire's flat. I don't know. Improvements. All the improvements. Jackson, what's going down? Uh, so we just modified our skid plate so we can reuse the oil. And um, now I'm bolting it back on. Um, we got the nice V action. You can see that? I want to see that? Let me get... There we go. So this is my point of view, everybody. This is, <laughs> this is how I work. Yep. Trying to get those ones right there, right there. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Uh, nailed it. What else you gotta do? Uh, nothing. You said something about camera? Well, we don't know what camera to go. Like, I'm not 100% sure what we have to do on the passenger side. So we're just gonna run it and I'll do it in line really quick. So we know that the camera is uh, pretty much, it takes like a half a turn to get a good adjustment, while the tow only takes like a quarter turn. You know, you can see a big difference. So you gotta plan. Plan, yeah. He's got a plan. Sounds good. All right, I got drivers meeting soon. I think we have ourselves a race over here. I thought they were gonna do the whole track. Anyways, out here checking out my visual cue points. So the track did go all the way to there for the outer zone one. Now it's here. It's like 20 feet back helps out with the line a lot better. The uh, outer zone two used to start about right here. Now it's up there and that helped out as well. Everything else is the same. But getting my visual cue through here is uh, important because this is like one of the fastest spots, knowing when to come down, when to uh, angle up. Also, there's that good little bump through there. All right, we just came out of the driver's meeting. This is the uh, spectator area, all the vendors. A vendor alley. Vendor alley. Back side of the grandstands. So, walking to the car, feeling good. 
We got a plan. Jackson's got a pee. There's something wrong with me. You got a pee? Oh, my legs hurt. He's pooped like five times a day. Usually, like pooped once. Now. Yeah, He's got a weird average going on. Yeah, that's so, got a weird average. So we're walking the long way, so we don't have to walk in the mud on the short way. Still gotta go change my shoes. I wear my regular kicks to the driver's meeting, so I need to hurry up and do that. You might have to do the first lap in the car. Don't wreck. I got you. I got you. Don't wreck. Drifting is always fun. Drifting is always funner with your friends. So, we get to go out and send it, bro. Yeah. We're gonna go out, we're gonna have a ball. Let's kill it, bro. What does Vaughn always say? I wish you good luck, but not victory? I don't know, I've heard him say that before. We'll see how this works. A little bit surprised about how fast they are. Yep. It's, it's like going through like this. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's party, baby. All, all thriller, no filler. Jeff Jones, Travis Reeder. Travis Reeder, he's having like, what seems like more fun than anybody out here in, uh, in Formula Drift. Travis Reeder, you know, I, I, I kind of cursed him yesterday. I apologize, Travis. I said, you know, he knows how to drive in the wet, and then he had uh, not the best run. But here he is. He is in top 32 competition. Jeff Jones initiates. The battle of the red vehicles here. Jeff Jones initiates. Travis Reeder right there. He does fall down quite a bit, but it's all about where you have that drifting line. Looks like a little hang up there that is a diesel area, basically a momentum area as they come into that final outside zone. Right is right on that white line. So again, where those multiple lines exist as Travis Reeder does exceed that. So again, where those multiple white lines are, that would be considered off course. But you can hit those cones by your back bumper. Let's take a look at it again here. Both lead runs and both chase runs and figuring out who did a better job overall. There's uh, there's just a little information that they are gathering with every turn and burn. Travis Reeder initiates. You can see some wobbling from both of the vehicles. The attitude of the vehicles, not exactly lock stock, ready to rock. Now dropping into that second outside zone. Like I said, that momentum zone, just gliding right into that second outside zone. Jeff Jones going way shallow, goes on the inside. Looks like Travis Reeder does go beyond that track course edge, but then both of them getting settled towards the latter portion of that final outside zone. Yeah, side by side, uh, instant replay. Uh, BC Racing, the official suspension of Formula Drift, go for gold. Yeah, and when we start seeing these side by side replays, if you're new to the sport, and I know that there are a ton of new fans that we've uh, been able to pick up and are excited about the sport. This basically means that the judges are really wanting to see both runs side by side, obviously, but the reason why they're doing it is to try to see if they can find something in the criteria that one driver did better than another. Again, we got those front wheels on and, and we do we have go. a result here. Here we go, one more time from one of the American judges and there it is, an OMT. So this will be a one more time and I, I, I absolutely agree with that. Tighten it up.
close though. So, so good damn driving though for damn sure. Oh, good. That's right. Yeah, good right there. Thank you. You did good. Good job, guys. The rest of this crew. The car is so gripped up right now. That was such a badass battle. He uh, left me some new marks. Cool stuff, man. Good job, Reader. Have fun. What's up? All right, Greg. What do you got going on? What's good right here? So what I'm doing is uh, what I like to do is get the car ready for the next round. You know, a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of bigger teams, they get a lot more people to do a lot more things. And so what we try to do is uh, with what we got, we try and take advantage of uh, something that's free for us is time. And, uh, if we can set the car up the best we can for the next round, and we, uh, we've been logging a lot of the different setups for the different rounds, so we know what we need to go to, and what camber adjustments, what toe adjustments. And so we're using these, uh, these pretty new to us, these uh, i1 uh, hub stands. And uh, what these do is it allows us to set the car on the way to the car without having the wheels on. It allows us to get in there and do all the adjustments on, uh, on turn plates. And essentially with these arms here, I'm able to align the front and the rear similar to what a toe plate does. And so this is, I mean, this is the best way to efficiently get your alignment done and do it yourself. And, uh, you know, I'm really, I'm really stoked with this whole setup. And uh, yeah, it makes it a lot easier. You can do adjustments and actually see them on the other side, the tape, the end of the tape measures. So I can do adjustments and I can see that number changing and I can, I can take it to zero or take it to whatever I want and I'm done. Yo dudes, I am out of my suit. That means I got my butt kicked by somebody. Travis Reeder beat me this round. And uh, it was good stuff. Let's see, he's right over there. My car's over here. Greg's going over it, making sure we're all ready for Washington. Pretty badass runs, man. We went one more time. Uh, I'll show the videos. You can see some of the stuff that, uh, what happened there. Just two solid back-to-back -back runs with each other. Very small mistakes. And it could have gone either way. And uh, he got the win on this one. So, Again, going out in top 32, it really sucks. And we've just got to improve the car um, overall. The car was actually great this round. Felt super gripped up, even in the rain. So really happy about all that. Time to move on, man. We got to start uh, beating some people. This is, we got used to being at the top. And now we're way at the bottom. All right. Thank you to all the fans. If you guys were out at here and checking this place out and you came out for an autograph, thank you. This place is really cool. Grandstands were actually pretty packed, so this place is pretty cool. I like it. Um, logistically, it was kind of tough to get here, but other than that, the venue, I think, could be pretty badass. So, all right, I'm gonna get out of here. Make sure you check out the CEO Auto Parts YouTube channel. That's like a quick wrap up of all the stuff that happened here. And I'm gonna move on. Later, nerds. You wanna be on the mic? No? Who wants to hold this microphone?